let's look at a few molecules that are not polar. Let's look at nitrogen. So there are two nitrogen atoms right here. You notice there's no electronegativity difference between them. That's why there's no uh, directional dipole anywhere. You can't see one. There's, there's none. So we have the same three atoms on the outside and no lone pairs. Notice each of the little bonds, they have those little you know, gray arrows. So each of the bonds do have a little dipole because you can tell there's a teeny tiny difference. This difference is not enough for the molecule to notice. This molecule will interpret this as being nonpolar, even though there is a little teeny tiny bit of a difference. So they all cancel each other out, and this can be harder to see. You kind of have to imagine like if you split it in all three different directions or if you imagine it like kind of going in a circle. You can kind of see that they're all going to cancel each other out. They're evenly dispersed. So here we go. This is what this one looks like. And again, we're seeing the bonds. And so carbon and hydrogen, 2.1 to 2.5. That, that's a very, very small electronegativity difference. The molecule isn't really interpreting it as very much of a polar bond. But overall, you can also see that they are not that they are all canceling each other out. Hopefully you can see this. It's hard to see it again, but for everyone that's going in one direction, there's there's two that cancel him out is kind of what ends up happening. And notice I've got molecular dipole clicked and there's nothing showing. So every time that you have a central atom, that's one atom, and then the outside atoms are all the same with, with no lone pairs on the central atom, the molecule is nonpolar. Let's look back at the others. Same outer atoms, no lone pairs on the central atom. No lone pairs on a central atom because there is no central atom. They're going to be nonpolar. There's all the properties that fall in line with being nonpolar. Let's go ahead and look at some molecules that are polar. So when you have just two, take off the dipole for a second, we can see the electronegativity difference is going to be more than 0.4, so it's definitely a strong electronegativity difference. But notice the atoms on the outside are different. Different atoms on the outside is going to always lead to a polar situation. Let's pick another one that has different atoms on the outside. This has three atoms. For a minute, you can see. So you can see that we the direction of the dipole and both the bonds are both heading in the same direction. Can you kind of see that? And then overall, that leads to this overall dipole that the molecule has. And what that means is that enough, if another molecule comes along, the hydrogen end of the molecule is going to fall in front of the nitrogen end of this molecule. So this has three different atoms, and notice that the two H's might feel like they kind of cancel each other out, but then look at the really strong dipole between the, the bond dipole between the C and the O. So overall, there is a molecular dipole. And again, if another molecule came along, the hydrogens, it would line up like this on top of each other. So notice not all the atoms are the same on the outside. When not all the atoms are the same, you should expect to get some kind of a dipole. There's another situation where you're going to end up with dipoles most of the time, and it's going to be when you have lone pairs. But there are two situations where you have lone pairs where you do not end up with dipoles, and those would have been discussed in class. Oh, so this is a molecule that has a lone pair. So if you were just looking at it, you might imagine that everything would cancel, except that the hydrogens have kind of an angle to them. So instead of being like flat... Whereas in this molecule, they were flat. See how they're flat and canceling? The angle that that NH3 has, it makes it so that they don't cancel evenly and they end up with an overall dipole in the direction of the lone pair sitting at the top. So lone pairs will usually mess up um, nonpolarity. Even if you have all the same atoms on the outside, the two exceptions are going to be something that's square planar with the same atoms on the outside and something that's linear with lone pairs with the same atoms on the outside. You should be able to answer the last question.